The topic for today is reload canceling. We're going to talk about what reload canceling is, why you would want to do it, and finally, I'm going to explain how to actually perform the reload cancel. Hello and welcome. I am Amedeo602, and if this is your first time on the channel and you want to improve at Call of Duty, start now by subscribing and ringing the notification bell so you don't miss out on tips, tricks, and tactics to make you a better player. Reload canceling is an intermediate level skill. It's a little bit too complicated for basic players, and most advanced players will certainly already know how to do this. First, let's answer the question of what is reload canceling? Reload canceling, as the name implies, lets you cancel your reload. Let's say you have a magazine that's partially empty, or partially full, I guess, is the glass half empty, half full? Well, anyway, you decided to reload. Before the reload was finished, however, you saw an enemy. Well, you can cancel the reload before it completes and use the remaining ammunition to engage that enemy. The second and much more common reason to reload cancel is just because it saves time. This first example is not a proper reload cancel when people use the phrase, Hey bro, do you even reload cancel? No, what they're actually referring to is saving time on your reload, and you can do this with a reload cancel by skipping part of the animation. In Call of Duty and many other first-person shooters, once the ammunition shows up in your magazine on the HUD, you're free to cancel the rest of the reload animation. In some cases, the time that you save is negligible, but in other cases, you save a lot of time by doing this. Check out some of these examples on the screen and you'll see exactly what I mean. Now that we've answered our first two questions about what is a reload cancel and why would I want to do it, we come to the all-important topic of, well, okay, Amedio, how do you actually do this? And the answer is that there are actually two techniques depending on the game you're playing. In some games, a sprint cancels your reload. In most Call of Duty titles, you can sprint to cancel your reload, and this is actually the technique that I used when I first learned about reload canceling. However, you should be aware that in some games, sprinting does not cancel your reload. And in some of the more recent Call of Duty titles, this is actually a setting in the game. The more reliable way to cancel your reload is to double tap your switch weapon button, which is a triangle on PS4, or the Y button on Xbox. In fact, if you've ever heard the phrase YY, that's actually what they were talking about was a reload cancel. Now the timing for the reload cancel can be a little bit difficult to get. Just remember, when you're doing the reload cancel for yourself, watch your HUD, and when you see the ammunition appear in the magazine, it's almost always safe to perform a reload cancel. In some cases, and you'll just have to play around with your favorite guns in your favorite games, you can also reload cancel as soon as the magazine gets inserted into the gun during the animation. Another great time to reload cancel is when you pick up a weapon from the ground. When you first pick up a weapon from the ground, your character will play a special animation. You can usually reload cancel your way out of this animation. Of special note, you can reload cancel your way out of an animation when you first pick up a gun in Blackout. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more Call of Duty tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's video. If there's anything I've left out of today's commentary, please leave a comment down below as always, thank you very much for watching.